Hey everyone, Dan from Aussie Garage. Uh, today's video we're back out in Coolin. This is the second last video we're doing from Coolin. Um, so today we've got three interviews of three generations of one family. So we've got Dan, we've got his dad Kevin, and we've got his son Pete. So uh, we thought we'd do all the three of them together as a family hit. So hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Can we say what it was yet? Yeah, uh, we probably did, did we? You did say what it was, didn't you? 1951 Cranbrook, Plymouth. Yeah, well, we did now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, going, guys, it's Phil from Aussie Garage. I'm here with Kevin. Now, Kevin, tell us about your ride, mate. Um, well, it's got a lot of family history, this one. Because yep. I serviced the car as an apprenticeship in 1952. Yep. Because it was only 12 months old then. And then a bit later on, 10 years after that, um, I had the opportunity to buy it. I think I paid £265 for it then. Wow, that's a lot of money back then, though. Well, it was, but I think if you look on the, on the uh, invoice here, the original invoice, yep. uh, the car with all the extras on it was £1,672. Oh, OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. And sales tax in those days was £245. Wow. Yeah, but um, we took it off the road in the early 70s. Yep mainly because it had a few little problems and the wife didn't want to put up with that, so we went and bought a nice little Toyota. This got parked, yep. and it's never been on the road since. Okay. So uh, what's it got in it at the moment? Is it a 6 or is it a V8? Just, just a little straight 6. Yeah. Yep. Commonly known as a P25. Oh, nice. Mm. And, um, so you've had this one for a very, very long time. So what's the plans with it? Are you just going to sit here or are you going to well, eventually do it one day? Or well, the last 40 years I've been going to do it up. Yep. But I don't know. We'll see. Yep. Fair enough. I don't, I don't think I'm going to live long enough to get around to that, so I think one of the family are going to have to carry on with it. Yeah, maybe yeah. Dan will get around to it <laughs> yeah. after that, yeah. Um, it's been suggested to just get it mechanically OK again and carry on like it is, don't bother about well, doing any more to it. Some people are just putting clear coat on the top of it and just leaving it. Yeah, that has been suggested. Yeah. 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 As I said, the motor's never been had much done to it and the rest of it's never been touched. Yeah, yep. So um, we'll see when we get around to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And out of all the cars you've owned, is this one of your favourite ones or it's oh, a... yes, definitely. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But uh, well, the only only other car I've owned actually has been a Toyota Corona and then we went into the Land Cruisers. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, the Land Cruisers have been the vehicle from here on. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Did you know if these came out with any special optional features when they first came out on the road or anything like that as well? Well, like, I think your, your Plymouth is, is the cheaper version of the Dodge. Yep. So you had to go to a Dodge if you wanted to be a little more upmarket. Okay. Uh, but mechanically, the body in that was pretty much the same. Yep. Yeah. And she's got all the bits and pieces in, including the blinds in there, which is something you don't see anyway. No, um, even in those days, they weren't very, very prominent. Yeah. But they'd have to have been an odd, odd extra. Yep. The aftermarket. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. 25 miles a gallon. Yep. Uh, it's a, the car of its size, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I did, one thing I liked about these old girls is just in the, the amount of chrome that was on it, they just stood out on the road. Well, I had a lady in here a couple of years ago and she's going along tapping the body and she said, there's no plastic on this car. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course not. <laughs> Jeez, they didn't make them like that in the old days. No. no Definitely no, not. Sure. Yeah. Um, no, perfect. Yeah. All right, All cool. Right. Well, thanks for talking to us at Aussie Garage, mate, and we appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure. Awesome, bud. All right, thank you. <laughs> How are you going, guys? It's Phil from Aussie Garage. I'm here with Dan. We're here to check out his panel van. So Dan, tell us about this ride, mate. Um, yeah, it's been an ongoing project, but uh, yeah, it's been over 20 years. I ended up starting with uh, just the, the rolling shell, the blue, with the blue part of the shell. No motor, gearbox, wheels or tyres, um, seats, sorry. Yeah. Um, and that was the, the start of it all. The guy was basically going to just pension it to the tip. So I put my hand up and decided, right, yep, take a little bit, but yep. took it on. So I started with the rust and I invested into a uh, brand new uh, three or four injected crate motor. I ended up ringing Charlie Brown's records in Armadale, got the red front end off another panel van that was being sold. Yep. From there I've done basically all the rust work myself. Perfect. Um, 
The only thing that basically wasn't done by myself is I had the automatic transmission rebuilt because I thought there was a noise in it, but it ended up being something else. Uh, so yeah, a lot of trial and error with what I did. I didn't ask a lot of questions, but yeah, built it all up, got it on the road. There was still a lot of work to be done, but it was on the road. It was good for yeah, yeah. Uh, so in, in the meantime, it's still got the original interior in it from when I got it. Still got the 80s yep. theme in the back of it. Yeah, so which is, uh, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, so hence, yeah, I liked, I loved, I've left it there for a, for a good presentation of what it used to be like. Yep. Um, and it's still in good nick too for its age. Yes. I've been through three or four sets of different wheels to try and pick what I like. I've finally settled down with what it should have on it. <laughs> yeah, they look good on it, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, so yeah, from there, so this was back in 2004 that I got this registered. Yep. And um, yeah, 12, 18 months I had it on the road and then yeah, basically had to park it up. Yep. Uh, from there, it'd been sitting in storage since until about three years ago. Okay, yeah. Uh, and that's where I started, uh, I had a connection with the, uh, what was then the Majestic Vanners. Yeah. Uh, now the West Coast Vanners. Yep. From there, three years ago, I decided that we get it back on the road, get it happen. Now, because it's got the modern running gear through it, I had to go through and get it permitted before I could get it back on uh, registered. Yep. So, yeah, a little bit of money later, but it paid off. Yep. Um, got it registered and absolutely loving it now. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. But I know that you were thinking about having uh, plans for the future with uh, painting it up and getting it to a certain colour. Yep. So, what kind of colour were you thinking? Um, looking at the Atlantis Blue, which is okay. basically a, a silver with a blue fleck or a blue background in it. Yeah, it's a nice colour. Yeah, so yep. um, yeah, get away from the dark colour, yep. get up to a lighter colour, and um, yeah, it'll be nice to, to have a, a good paint job. Yep. Um, this one's holding up rather well, but it's really starting to show its age with the with the blue section. Yeah. Really, the, it's getting a bit patchy, but I get to enjoy it the way it is. So yep. the next bit of what I'd like to do is probably just tidy up the patchwork on the red side yep. and just keep it red there. Yep. And um, yeah, probably, I don't know, the, the blue needs a lot more okay. TLC yep. Yep. put to it. But at the end of the day, I'd like to do the panel and paint myself, have yep. a go um, with a bit of guidance. Um, have you got any other kind of future plans to like put any other modern treats in it or anything like that that you're planning um, on doing? Yeah, I've, there's part of the aircon system under the dash that uh, is a part of the original system. Okay. So yep, yep. yes, I'd like to one day plumb it up and have the aircon running. Yeah. About the point where it's running pretty sweet, everything's basically done. I've got a couple of oil leaks to fix. Yep. But the mechanical side of it, um, yeah, it's basically up to date. Yep. And when you do all the like the paint job and you get it all cleaned up and stuff like that. You're still going to leave the interior the way it is right now? Um, I'll upgrade the seats uh, trim. Yep. I'm quite happy to leave the yep. existing rear interior in there as a presentation of what it was like. It does take people back as soon as they look inside the van, they go, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't remember oh, yeah. that. Yeah. No, I've had a lot of comments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, was only, yeah. um, I was only at my, because this has got the, the modern engine with the uh, EFI. Yep. So I was going to go and uh, I caught up with the, the tuner. I talked to him about it and he actually had some of his family turn up. Yep. And they asked to have a look. And a few of the comments that come out when I opened up the back of it, they just fell over backwards. Yeah, yeah. And, and this is what vanning is all about. It's customising the van yeah, to suit so your needs rather than anyone else's or trying to fit in with the community side of things. It's yeah. basically all on you. You're not, not keeping up with the Joneses. You're, no. You're, Provide, you're, you're presenting your representation of uh, what you'd like to see in your van. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what we'll do is, I know we're going to have a walk around the van and everything like that. Um, yeah. There's anything else you can tell us about the van or things like that? When I first got the van, it had a 350 Chevy in it with a turbo 400. Yeah. Um, I don't know what wheels, but it was a fair bit lower too. Okay. So back in the day, it was quite a show van. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, 
other than that, I've got no history on the van prior to me picking it up. Yeah. But if someone could recognise it from back in the day, it had a premier front end on it. Okay, yeah. Um, but it was all in the, the dark blue colour. Yep. Um, and the combination of the 350 Chev and the Turbo 400. If someone recognised it and got some info Perfect. on what the van was back earlier to 2000. Yep. I hold my hand up, please come forward. Um, I'd love to know the history of it because it has been a show, show van yeah, in the, somewhere in the past. In the past yeah. yes. Awesome. Um, so if you guys, if you know anything about this, once we have a look at it, hit us up, send us a message on um, either on Facebook or on uh, YouTube. And yeah, let's get some details about it. Someone should know something about this being in the banning community for, God, I know there's a lot of people yeah. out there that have been doing it since the 70s and 80s, you know, so, yep. you know, maybe, yeah, that maybe yeah. someone will recognise it. Yeah, because um, a few, a couple of uh, pages I've been scrolling through, mm -hmm. I've, I've seen other various fans pop up, not that I know them, but yeah. I thought some people are making comments on it as well. Well, maybe I can get a picture of mine out there or, sh or show it and someone yeah, can recognise yeah. it. Um, yeah, it'd be huge if someone's got some info on it. Yeah, well, yeah. let's see if someone recognises and, yeah. and hits us up with it. Yeah, yeah that'd be awesome. But the rear interior will probably be the key to... Um, wow, yeah, that's uh, that's a definitely standout feature. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Of that, you know, will represent that era for sure. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And um, as soon as everyone sees it, you'll you'll know what we're talking about. But <laughs> it's it's perfect. Yeah, All right. Thank you. All right, Just keep it rolling. Um, yep. Phil, yep. for the appreciation of uh, you guys getting your Aussie garage up and running and okay, yeah, for yeah. your van. I'd like to, uh, they're not real pretty at the moment. Oh, These awesome. are the side vents that come off my van, which I'm not in favor of putting back on. So yeah, I'd yeah. Like, like to uh, pass them nah, on to you, mate. Thanks, man. These yeah. are gonna be awesome, mate, on the XC. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, so do enjoy. Yep, yeah, I will do, mate. These will clean up very nicely. Yeah. And yeah. They're going to look good on the van. Oh, well, they will, mate. <laughs> Absolutely. They look better on a Ford van than a Holden one. All right, mate. So, like, uh, we were talking about other stuff. So, what are some of the other features that you're still going to do or have done with the car? Basically, what I've done is I've put the dress trim across the top of the radiator in the engine bay there. Yep. I've put a couple of dress trims on the air vents. Yep. I've got some to go on the scuff plate. But they've got to go on a black background scuff plate. So okay, I've got some yeah, of yeah. them. Um, I've updated my seats to Commodore ones. The driver's side one's out of a wagon, VR wagon. The left one is out of a VR VS uh, ute that had a column shift. So okay. it's a three-quarter seat, so I can still have my three people in there legally. I've updated to Calais or Statesman steering wheel. Still kept my standard dash. Yep. I've got all the dash working properly now. Yep. Uh, right. Yeah, fuel gauge tells you when you're going to run out. Before you run out, yeah, yeah, <laughs> which is handy, definitely. Uh, basically, I can nearly get 400 k's on a on a tank before I've got to start stressing, which yep. is not bad for. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. From there, another thing I've got is some um, Statesman mirrors, the remote type. Oh yeah, yep. So it's a little bit bigger. That's a part of my dressing up that I'll, I'll be going towards. So yeah. It's, Hence a little bit more of the, the chrome work that's going to go onto it, just to uh, bring it up yeah, a little absolutely. bit going silly. Um, someone told me the other day that they've got a set of skirts for this. It's actually, okay. I'll, I'll admit it, and I didn't realise before, these are actually supposed to be mounted on there. But they work quite well as yeah. a skirt. Yeah. I'll admit it. Yeah, I haven't seen someone do it like that. No. But, hey, it does work. Um, those those uh, vents that I gave you, they were on here. Yep. This side wasn't too bad underneath. Had a bit of uh, this. Yeah, this one wasn't too bad. The other side had it was actually starting to rust and push it off. So okay. that's why yep. I've taken them off before it got too bad. Um, yeah. The other thing. Yeah. So the seats will get trimmed up, and the on the rear tailgate. I'll get that trimmed up probably to oh yeah just to get it neat up. That up yep that's about the baggiest part of it yeah and, um a couple of little features i might i'm thinking of putting a second battery in but i'll fit it in fit it in up underneath uh where the second fuel tank would go if you put one in yep yep in yep. the corner there so it's out of the way because i do like sleeping in the back of the van it's pretty comfy 
And apart from that, it's it's basically where I want it. I just yeah, just got to keep putting the TLC into it. Yep, yep. Tidy it up. No. If I had my way, I'd use this as a daily, every day. Yep. It's so. It's such a pleasure to drive. Yeah. Yeah, I've got it. Well, Cheap. the good thing is with the modern engine and everything else, you just turn key, start her up, and you got right. Mosey the down key. the road, you know. Yeah. Nah, it's my um, yeah, my dream toy, and I've got it, and I'm investing into it. Awesome, mate. Awesome. Well, once again, thanks for talking to us at Aussie Garage, mate, and um, yeah, appreciate it. Nah, massive. Perfect. Huge. Watch out, dog doesn't get you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 How you going guys? It's Phil from Aussie Garage. I'm here with Peter. Peter, so you got two cars here. Let's start with the HZ. HZ, okay. Yeah, so tell us about it, mate. Um, so it's H uh, 1978 HZ painted in a gunmetal grey. Yep. Yep. The interior was all redone about a year ago by the previous owner. Um, it's got a 253 in it. Yep. Which yeah, again was rebuilt by the previous owner. It's got chrome GDS mags on it. Nice. Which... And um, well, this one here, you're um, trying to sell it to try and get something a bit better, or something, or something different, <laughs> eh? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, trying to, looking at getting a panel van. Nah, nice. Yeah. Uh, what model panel van are you looking um, at? I found one WB. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Which doesn't need too much to get a license, just okay. a bit of rust in it. But, yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us anything about like the how many owners this one's had or anything um, like that? Or you're I'm not quite sure? Not quite sure. I think okay. it's only had, I'm a third owner, I think. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice view. Like one tonnes have always been great anyway, especially yeah. for carting crap around everywhere. Yeah, but, uh, but what I'm planning on using it for yep. with the club side of it, van sort of works a lot better. Yeah, okay. Because then yep. you don't have to put a swag or a bunch of things on the back. Yeah, you can just sort of sleep in the back of a van. So yeah, yeah, yeah. more cruiser comforts, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. And um, your panel van here, mate. So how long you've had this one for? Um, and what is it? It's a XG, XG. Oh, XG. ninety-five. Yep. It's a bit over. Had it for a bit over a year. Okay. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. When we got it, it was unlicensed. It had been sitting around for many years. Yep. In a shed for most of it. Um, had a fair bit of rust in it. Okay. But with Dad's help, um, managed to well cut out pretty much all of it. Yep. Yep. And then yeah, got it all licensed and. And um, what's this one got in it? Just a straight two fifty or, or 4.1, a four point one four four point zero liter engine. Yeah, straight six. Yep. Nice. Yeah. And have you done anything at the back or decked it out or anything um, like that? Or? No, I just put a mattress in it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. Recently, we had to swap the head over. Okay, yeah. Just because it was leaking oil and water. And yep. Yeah. So now I haven't had a problem. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. And yeah. what's the plan with this one? I'm planning on putting a bunch of gremlins, well, getting Dan to um, airbrush a bunch of gremlins all over it. Yep, cool. I've already got gremlins in the windows. Yep. So just add to it more. Yeah, yeah. Now they look pretty cool anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, why the Gremlins? Is that something that you used to watch as a kid and something um, that you enjoyed? Or? Yeah, it's a movie I like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, someone else had a Gremlin stuffed toy that I could have, so yep. that and sort that of started it. Kicked it all off. Yeah. No, perfect. Perfect. And uh, um, are you going to spray a different colour? Are you going to keep it white um, but just do the airbrushing on the bonnet and the sides? Or? Yeah, not sure yet. Okay. Depends on what sort of... Um, gremlin design I go for. Yep, yep. And how it works with the white. Yep. And um, anything else you're going to do in the interior? Are you going to like deck out the back of the uh, van a bit more? Um, uh, put yep. cupboards in there, the whole lot? Or you just. Yeah, eventually gonna... we'll put yeah, cupboards or some sort of interior into it. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. And then have got a um, set of bubble windows. Oh, nice. Ordered on it. Yep. Yeah. Which... That will look good on them. Yeah. Yep. Give and it that 80s look. Yeah. yeah, and uh, eventually we'll get um put a got a bull bar there. Okay. Which will be yep. put on the front of it. Yep. Yeah. Needed out here. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you work on a like a farm sometimes, don't yeah. you? So at the end of the day, you need that kind of stuff. Yeah. Especially in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you showing us both rights, mate. That's and right. And thanks. Thanks Appreciate for coming it. out. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. Thanks.